every city in China that you visit, there is something new that will blow your mind. Ghana, Ghana base. <laughs> <笑>你去哪个国家 <哇>, <笑> First Ice and Snow Carnival of Way High Science and Technology Museum in 2024. One thing I like about China is always there's something new happening in the country, in the major cities, in the first, second tier, third tier cities. This was not here. This place was just built this winter to bring a bit of fun and entertainment and a bit of sports activity to the people of Way High in the Shanghai province of China. Just in front of me is an edifice that was built like a year ago. When I moved to this city, this edifice was not built. But recently, it has been opened to the public and it's a marine science and technology museum. Um, somewhere, somewhere last year summer, my school came here um, for a tour. And I didn't vlog that experience. So today I want to take you guys inside and show you this mega edifice that has been built in Weihai. I don't know how they speed up their projects because I went back to Ghana, I went back to Ghana and there are some of the projects that I've seen being constructed in Ghana even way before I traveled to China like 10 years, 8 years ago and that project is still under construction. But one thing I've realized about China is the mega speed they use in the construction of their projects in the country. I don't know whether it's a deliberate policy by the government to make sure every every project that is being started by a contractor is finished on time. In my country, it's totally different. I'm not shading. I'm not shading my country, Ghana, but I know that there are some projects that started by previous previous government that is still not yet completed. Some of the people that I respect a lot in China are these construction workers. They are always working, working on time to make sure that projects are completed and places are put in place. Nihao, Nihao, Nihao. This is my dad. 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 This is my 还行，还行啊，挺好。加拿大的美女好。哈哈哈哈哈！加拿大美女好吗？你去过吗？没有去过。好了，我们走了哈。我去这里看哈。啊，that's interesting. That's interesting. That brother right there has been to Ghana. He has been to my country, and the man said Ghanaian women are beautiful, and that's true. Ghanaian women are beautiful. And um, I think the last time we came here. It was free entry for all the students, but I don't know whether today I'm coming alone. I'll, I'm gonna be charged some money, but I'm not too sure. So let's go find out. Shushu how? Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Right. So today we're gonna take a tour of this edifice. That's the Way High Marine Science and Technology Museum, and I can't wait to show you guys. Hello. 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 I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get inside and take a tour of this mega edifice that has brightened up the whole coastline of Weihai in the Shandong province of China. So if you're Chinese watching me, I just want to know why the projects in China always, always get done on time. Because where I come from is totally different. Where I come from is totally different, but for what I've seen and observed in China for the past 10 years, all major projects are always executed right on time. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, baby. Hi. 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 
So this is the entrance. That's the main entrance to the museum. And I want to show you guys from the top. Check out the view. Check out the view. And this marine science museum was built very close to the ocean. And that's the fishing harbor on that side. All right. So let's see what's going to happen. I actually didn't come with my passport, but let's see whether I'll be allowed to enter. So you have. You have. Uh, uh, so I've been told to use my WeChat. This is what I got. My PR. My PR. Oh, that PR. Um, you can ask. Oh, 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 ask. I didn't pay the last time. Uh, Wushiba, Wushiba. Wushiba, you can see Wushiba. Yes, you can see Wushiba. Yes, you can see Wushiba. Ah, you can see Wushiba. You can see Wushiba. Yes, you can see Wushiba. I have to pay an entrance fee of 58 yuan. Um, so I'm going to use my WeChat. Uh, so I just got my ticket. All right, All right, see you. Whoa, take a look. The technology in China is amazing. Now, on this screen, you can see a lot of bubbles. When you press any button on this screen, it gives vivid information about the particular place or the object that is being shown in the picture. Let me show you. But it's in Chinese, so I cannot read to you guys. So this side is mineral resources in the coastline of Weihai colorful wetland beautiful bay charm island it must be noted that way high has a lot of islands in this city and thousand miles coastline let's continue our journey as we explore this beautiful marine museum and these are robots these are different robots I don't know what they are used for, but these are different robots. So let's get inside. Um, this is a sea, seaweed house. Seaweed house is very popular in Weihai. I've been to the seaweed house in the city before. And these are some of the old equipment that was used for the construction of the sea, seaweed house. And this place is the old method of collecting salt from the ocean as has been demonstrated here but china is developed to the point that they don't use this method for salt collection anymore these are some of the old boats from the city so this is how china actually is showcasing their development over the years now let's take a look at what we have here I presume this is the old way they were building the vessels and this is the modern vessels that has been built by Chinese people 
So these are replica of some of the old ships that were built in China. Ocean fishery bays. Let's take a look at this. Oh, this is the whole world map. There's um, America, South America, and there's Africa. Interesting Ghana base. So there's a base in Ghana built by the Chinese people in my country. Interesting. Interesting. Ghana. Ghana base. Wow. And these are the different oceans we have in this world. Antarctica, Indian, um, Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. As you can see from this point, there are little Chinese here. Chinese children with their family, with their parents, exploring this place. There's a little slide for children to play. All work and no play makes like a dog boy. So when children come here to explore, they also have a slide that has been built here for their entertainment. Hello. 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 <laughs> See why go in? Why go in like a fo a foreigner? A foreigner. <laughs> Why go away? Why go away? Many foreigner, a foreigner. It's a jellyfish. Jellyfish on display. Autonomous underwater vehicle. So this goes under the ocean and it's controlled by technology. Wow. Seven dragons exploring the deep sea. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, six. Where is the seventh one? I really like this place because um, it's a learning center for children to come here and learn about the the marine, the different species of aquatic animals you know and this is why China is developing at a fast pace because they incorporate this in their daily life so children at the age of three four years can come here and have a first-hand experience of some of the things that happens in the ocean take a look at this So the young, the old, little children, all exploring this marine science museum. So how many products can we get from this tuna? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, very interesting. So you can see that's a family exploring this marine science museum in the city of Weihai. In the city of Weihai. The whole place is so magnificent and I can't get enough of this. I feel very blessed to be here to experience this once again. Oh, there's a gaming, a gaming area, way high technology port. Okay. Now let's explore the second floor of this science marine museum. 
I don't know what is up there. So let's go, I'll show you guys. So let's take a look. They have a discovery center, a coffee bar, toilet, research classroom. You see what I told you guys? There's an incorporation of an a steady, a steady environment in this museum whereby children just take a look at this this was built using seashells wow look at this costume built using seashells how cool is it exploration and research base of way high marine science and technology museum so this um a marine organism if you want to talk to delicate juma ah okay what you can huh <laughs> all you have to do is to make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video share so that this video can reach a wider audience to show how life is in China. This is one of the classroom over here. Different ocean animals on display. And little kids can come here and learn about these aquatic animals. How cool. Can this be built? In my country, Ghana, it's possible. It's possible. Wow. Hey, how? There's just my fire. Where? And the whole place, the whole place is controlled by this tablet. Uh, See, technology in China. This whole classroom is controlled on this tablet. Uh, you can Ah. Uh, okay. So when I hit the fish on display, I get some points. But some of them, it gives me negative. Oh. Now, let's go and explore the restaurant in this science museum. So this is a restaurant. I think it's not in service. But there's a beautiful restaurant here. That you can have anyhow, no. you can have a meal as you come here. Have a look at this marine museum. You can have a meal, sit comfortably here, enjoy your meal, and have a beautiful view of the ocean and the fishing port. This is how China is developed as a country. Nihao, Konyo, Nihao. This is how China is developed as a country, over 1.3 billion people. But every city in China that you visit, there is something new that will blow your mind. Hi, friends. So this project is built with a holistic approach. You can have a restaurant here as well as a coffee shop. So coffee and tea lovers can also come here for a coffee sit here enjoy their, their drink and um, have a view of this beautiful ocean and a fishing harbor how cool how cool sit here enjoy a coffee or a tea and also have a view of the ocean hello Yeah. <laughs> so the man in front of me, he's taking a picture and a video of me, and he said I'm so handsome. He wants another. Hello, hello. <laughs> so this is a tour of the Wei Hai Marine Science and Technology Museum. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you have such edifice in your country? Why do you think China as a country is developing so fast? Why do projects that start in China are always done on time? As compared to my country and other countries that I know. I don't want to mention them, but I can say my country, Ghana, because there are projects that were started by previous successive governments, still not completed, still 
up to this day, it's not completed. There are projects in Ghana that were started 50 years ago and it's still not completed. There are projects that were started by our former president Mahama and it's still not completed. There are projects that started by our former president Kufo that are still not completed. I don't know why. I don't know why it's because we have a, a multi party democracy or the kind of democracy that we have in Africa is not working for Africa. I just don't know. I'm just thinking aloud. So, guys, let me know in the comment section. Playground for children to play, have fun. All right. My tour is completed. So, it's time for me to go get my bag and head home.